Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video, and today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, and I got a few cool other things I want to tell you guys. For this video, again, we are giving away $200 worth of XRP, and all that you have to do to enter this giveaway is press the like button on this video right now, go ahead and comment something down below, and make sure you have the notification bell on. That is all that you need to do and if we hit 299 likes within 24 hours i said that a little bit strange didn't i i meant to say 299 likes within 24 hours we're giving that money away in a video tomorrow live so make sure you go ahead and enter it's a really simple process now guys i actually did a poll a couple of days ago asking are you expecting back to get involved with xrp at some point 154 people voted and 83 percent of the people voted yes for sure 10% of the people voted no, and 7% voted maybe slash in the future. And I found this quite an interesting poll to, to have because as it's looking at right now or what it's looking like, BACT is, is not really getting involved with any other cryptocurrency. They're looking at Bitcoin right now, and that is basically it. But I think a very good question for all the community members and for the future and longevity of these coins is, you know, what integrations are they going to get? You know, is BACT going to be interested in them, or does BACT think they're worthless, or what is the situation? And I really like to know you guys' opinion on that, but I guess... <laughs> The, the majority of the people, by far, actually think that BACT is also going to get involved with RIP on XRP in the future. So, I guess you don't really have to worry about that too much. That is actually kind of settled. Um, I, I understand now what you guys think about the situation. I'm pretty happy about that. I just noticed a tweet from EA, Electronic Arts. They said, invest in crypto. This is a, a comment from a couple of days ago from, of course, the Twitter account from EA. So, most likely, it's just a couple of younger people um, in the social media team here behind computers just replying and doing everything instead of, you know, some of the real spokesperson over there because I don't know if this is something they can just, you know, maybe it's something they just said. I don't really know, guys. To be completely honest here, I don't know if it's just one of the smaller guys over there or if they really had to put out this statement. Maybe EA is going to announce something with crypto relatively soon. We don't really know, but definitely like Toby J. Raleigh said here, this is a huge thing. I find it funny how he tagged me but does not follow me. This is a little bit of a of a of a too bad situation, but okay. Thank you for sharing it. I just want to quickly re-mention this. Ripple asks Scort to dismiss XRP Securities lawsuit. I just covered this topic in the previous video that I did on XRP. If you guys have no idea, it is called Ripple XRP Revealed to New Clients and is XRP actually being used? It's a pretty cool video, so go ahead and check it out. It's again about Ripple, <laughs> of course. Uh, but in that video, we discuss this lawsuit situation, and again, how it's trying to get dismissed, at least from Ripple's side, they're trying to get the case dropped, and they have a pretty good reason to request that. Uh, and in the video, we also covered a little bit of um, of this right here. Ripple Labs wants the US to forget it's being sued uh, for selling Ripple illegally, and another one, Ripple asked to toss lawsuit, but... All right, let, let's look into something else before we get into that a little bit more. XRP's price may come under attack as coin moves towards breaching descending triangle. This is again another article from just now, eight hours ago, a little bit after the bullish run that we were all so happy about. The spiraling price of XRP had built up enough potential energy to bounce by a staggering 27% on September 19th. The price of the coin peaked at 33 cents, following which it was on a descent at press time. The short-term charts for XRP suggest a continuing fall in the coin's price. On the one-hour chart for XRP signaled the formation of a bearish descending triangle and the pattern characterized by true trend lines, one sliding across the chart to mark the lower highs at 32.17, 31.77, and 29.51. While the second horizontal line supported the price at 28.24, and the price has been conciliating between the two trend lines and the declining volume complements for firming pattern. The 50 moving average was under the 100 moving average after a recent crossover, and the MACD line affirmed the bears creeping into the market as it slipped under the line signal or signal line at press time. From a four hour perspective, it has revealed the same descending triangle pattern, collecting the lower highs 
at 3271, 2972, and 2938, as the base of the triangle was marked at 2832. With price moving inside the triangle with reduced volume, a breakdown is imminent for the coin. Despite the formation of an ascending triangle, the 50 moving average had a lead over the 100 moving average, suggesting the presence of bulls but not for long. The RSI suggests that buying and selling pressure in the market had reached an equilibrium. Conclusion here, after enjoying soaring prices for a while, the coin might go back to its comfortable bracket between 27 and 25 cents. Now I'm not really hoping that it's going to get between that range again, as I'm really liking the 29.31 cent region as we're getting close to 30 cents and it's always a little bit of a barrier that's hard to cross over so if we you know really hover around it go above it every once in a while and stay close to it we have a higher chance of not being uh, of that point not being as big of a hurdle as it used to be once you really want to get those gains again price analysis 2009 Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and a lot of other coins. Though Bitcoin's price action has largely been lackluster in the past few days, before we get actually into any of this, make sure you go ahead and follow me on uh, Twitter. The name is the DustyBC. And also, guys, make sure you go ahead and join the Facebook group. A link for that is in the description. And if you are enjoying this video or have learned something new, make sure you press the like button. It could change with the launch of Bact. Fundstrike Global Advisor co-founder Tom Lee is positive on BACT and its ability to improve trust with institutions to crypto. This whole situation is also why I really like to know you guys' situation and opinion um, surrounding cryptocurrency and surrounding BACT specifically here. The crypto markets have been waiting for institutional interest to fuel the next big leg up of the move and BACT is an important step in that direction. To maintain its advantage, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange CME Group plans to introduce options on Bitcoin futures in the first quarter of 2020 if it gets the necessary regulatory approvals. Tim McCourt, CME Group Global Head of Equity Index and Alternative Investment Products, said the group plans to add new products to meet the increasing client demand as the feature will provide them additional flexibility to trade and hedge their Bitcoin price risk. Bitwise Asset Management has given a presentation to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, which is of course the SEC, allaying its concerns regarding the proposed Bitcoin exchange traded fund. While Bitwise is confident that it has addressed all the issues raised by the SEC, we'll have to wait until next month for the decision of the SEC. The developments are all positive for Bitcoin. However, let's see what these charts are actually projecting. And there's a little bit of info on that, but I want to skip that for right now and go on to XRP. The sharp rally in XRP stalled just below 34 2029 or 229 on September 18th. The subsequent pullback is finding support close to 27,795, which is a positive sign. If the price again rises from the support, it might act as a floor, and therefore traders can buy closer to 27,795 and keep a stop loss at right around 24 cents. The first target on the upside is 34 2029. I'm saying 2029, I know that's not possible. Um, it is just a little bit of too much of a number. I think I should just shorten this to 34.2 and above it at 37.8. Contrary to our assumption, if the XBD USD parcel is below the moving averages, it can retest the critical support at 24,508. A break below this level will be a huge negative and can start a new downtrend, which is not something we would like to see either. Now again, to come back to something I mentioned a little bit earlier, Ripple asked to toss lawsuit over crypto securities make sure you go ahead and check out my previous video on that guys i just put two articles in here in this video to show you guys how important the situation here is and how many people are talking about it why you guys should really go ahead and check it out it's so important to know uh what's happening to ripple labs right now regarding this uh, lawsuit because it could change everything if it is a pint or, or like kind of decided that xp is a security xp won't be like we know it today and ripple will maybe even cease to exist if everything really hits the fan it is possible guys because this lawsuit could be a very 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 bad one for ripple right i probably think they will not cease to exist maybe that's not the yeah, right words to use but they really have some bad return all right it will really have some very negative effects so it's always important to check up on all the updates regarding these lawsuits as it can really change your whole uh, investment experience or whole cryptocurrency journey but yeah, a class action lawsuit alleges its Ripple tokens are securities, or XP tokens are securities, 
and I don't personally think so, guys. Even though it's a little bit odd and strange how it's all being arranged, I still, to this point, do not think that those coins are securities, and still, to this point, I do not think that um, XRP and Ripple are the same company or same thing. Also, what I mentioned in my previous video was Ripple onboards two new banks and flashes XRP customer list. Now, actually, I just quickly said that Ripple onboards two new banks, and we quickly also showed the Ripple.com website, which nowadays looks really quite fancy and really cool. What I actually did not mention at that point was, though, uh, that they actually show us a little bit of a customer list directly here. The most popular yet disputable token XRP Issued by the distributed of Ripple, um, expands its token adoption with two new banks, of course. To promote one of its tools like Rapid for international payments, Ripple takes initiative and creates an ecosystem that does, not, that does not require prepayments and also flashes two new partners on boarded in its new customer list. So again, this is a little bit of the customer list. We, of course, got American Express and MoneyGram. We've known about them for quite a long while. We got PNC and Santander. The SCB, a lot of people did not even know about this or do not hear too much from it. I think it's because it's a little bit more foreign. Uh, this is not as much in the mainstream news as, for example, SBI. We know we got Instagram. You might have forgotten about that, but it is there. Banco Rendimento. Um, we got BTEC, Interbank, Pontuo, and Vitesse. Banco Rendimento and Pontuo, I've also not heard that uh, or things about that often. BTEC. I think we've only seen it come by once. Every test and interbank are new from today, which is also what I covered in that video earlier. Ripple files a motion to dismiss XP Securities Law. So you get the idea now, go though, guys. Right? How <laughs> how important this is, and how many people are talking about this right now. Purchasing XP is not an investment in Ripple. There's no common enterprise between Ripple and XP purchases. There was no promise that Ripple would help generate benefits for XP holders, and the XP ledger is decentralized, is what they said. Um, one thing that I have a little bit more to talk about. What the frick is going on, guys? Oh, my my days. My headset just went blazing. It really broke my head. My days. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it broke me. Whoa. That was very loud. I do not appreciate that at all. Oh, I'm shook. <laughs> Well, I would say I have a little bit more on XRP, but I'm going to wait. Let's first check out this Coinbase article here. Coinbase mulls over bringing Telegram to its cryptocurrency trading platform. 16 other digital assets are also being considered. It's pretty cool that Coinbase is still considering a lot of, of cryptos. But, you know, the, the whole Telegram situation is really quite vague to me. But Coinbase is considering the viability of adding secure messaging app Telegram to its platform alongside some other tokens. On Thursday, the cryptocurrency trading platform said Avalanche, Celo, and some other um things and telegram are all being considered for future support and at first i thought this was pretty cool and amazing and i was like wow what are they saying about telegram that's so amazing this that this that in the end you know it's just a big list of some cryptocurrency and telegram is just one of them you know there's no specific reason i would say as to why they're doing this or why telegram specifically they just put up a list and you just gotta deal with that a little bit of a question though is like how Telegram is going to be operating as they're slow with everything, and I'm wondering if they're going to be performing like they said they were. It's a little bit of a question. And then again, this, guys, I'm just showing it to you because it's been a long time, over a month since we showed it for the last time, the XRP retirement plan. I just wanted to quickly put back in uh, in one of the videos. I'm thinking of doing another little video just to explain how everything works out. But just to make sure you guys all don't forget that this is there, there's a little bit of a plan that we decided to write, and I think, you know, with time here, we're going to just expand this to a full paper for all the community members to just enjoy and read through and you know, see or, or things like that. Because uh, right now, it's really relatively small. We also have a spreadsheet attached um, that's, you know, a little bit of a calculator for, for your XP prices and things. But in this case, what it kind of explains to us is what kind of goals you should be setting for yourself, how much you should think the XP price is going to be worth to, you know, um, kind of match up with your goals and added to that of course is how much XRP you should have I don't like this this firework like in my previous video I also showed you guys firework or, or I'm hoping it's not shots I, <laughs> I'm not going to go outside to check but I'm hoping it's not uh, we're going to assume it's fireworks right there but yeah it's kind of bothersome it's like it's not even December yet What what's going on 
and, and then to match them all up. So you put in your goals, your XP price prediction, your amount of XRP, you match them all up and you know and how your retirement plan should look like. I also have a little bit of an explanation that I always do with how much you can retire with. To put a baseline, you know, if you have $1 million, you can easily retire with, um, you know, how much was it now? $40,000 a year net. So that's, again, pretty pretty doable. I think there's a lot of people who can really easily live with that as you can still have some side hustles. You know, you can even still work if you want to. Um, even though you're officially retired, you can still work on your own and do some stuff if you really want to. Whatever you want, it's always possible, guys. It's a pretty cool situation, though, to just be able to know when you can retire and be able to know that, you know, it's it's really possible and it's really close because this, our, our little uh, table shows you exactly the yellow ones are, are where you can really retire from. And you can put any value in yourself and calculate it all. It's all pretty cool. But, guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully, you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you press the like button right now. And make sure you go ahead and check out all the links in the description below. Especially, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, the CBC. And also, especially, I'm saying that twice, I know. Go ahead and check out the Discord and the Facebook group. Check them out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care. This is not financial advice.